Rainforests are often named the lungs of the planet for their ability to absorb carbon dioxide. They also stabilize the climate and produce rainfall all around the planet. Rainforests are some of the wettest and humid places in the world. They absorb the most rainfall of all climates by a large margin. The average rainfall per year on Earth sits at around 100 centimeters. Rainforests average over 200 centimeters. Monsoon rainforests, even more rainfall, often averaging up to 400 centimeters. The wettest place on Earth goes to Morsinarim in India, averaging 1,187 centimeters of rainfall per year. Let's explore why it rains there so much. Firstly, let's learn how clouds are formed. The heat from the sun on liquid water turns the water into gas form, creating water vapour. This process of turning liquid into a gas is called evaporation. Most often this occurs in the ocean since it's the biggest body of water on earth. The water vapour is light enough to float into the atmosphere. The higher in the atmosphere you get, the cooler it becomes. When the water vapour gets cool enough, it turns back into liquid form. The process of a gas turning into a liquid is called condensation. This is the opposite effect to evaporation. At this in-between point, it connects with small dust particles creating water droplets. These water droplets connect with each other to form clouds. Clouds do not simply fall out of the sky. They are so light that warm air coming upwards from the surface pushes them further upwards. The clouds move from the wind continuing to collect more water droplets. When they become heavy enough and the warm air cannot hold them anymore, do we experience rain, also known as precipitation. Clouds form and move on winds into the rainforest area. Rain falls onto the trees and soil. Much of the water is absorbed by roots and plants. The excess water evaporates off the trees and plants. This is called transpiration. Along with the evaporation from water vapour coming from the surface and soil, the excess water vapour combine together forming evapotranspiration. Areas like rainforests with high amounts of foliage and trees are going to produce more water vapour into the atmosphere. The extra water vapour causes the precipitation process to speed up. The process repeats itself. The rainforest causes rain acting as a magnet. This is called the biotic pump effect. However, if we were to remove trees, this disturbs the process. No trees, less plants, removes the transpiration process. Also, there is less roots and soil on the surface to hold water, meaning less water is evaporated, causing less water vapor to float back into the atmosphere. Clouds will continue to find more water vapour elsewhere before raining. This means less rainfall in the rainforest, more rainfall elsewhere. In some cases, this has caused 15% less rainfall 100 to 1000 kilometres downwind in the rainforest. That's enough to cause severe droughts and change the climate significantly. That also means an increase of rain somewhere else, possibly causing floods. A disruption to the water cycle can cause serious local climate change. With no trees, plants or roots, heavy rainwater is not absorbed. Instead, the runoff or excess water goes into the river. Examples of this in the Amazon has seen rivers increase by as much as 20%, causing severe flooding. Loose soil is also swept into the river as there are no roots to hold the soil, often contaminating drinking water, biodiversity, blocking the river, and in some cases even changing the course of the river, like in Yangtze, China. Without the topsoil, the soil fails to regenerate future vegetation with no vegetation to block the heat from the sun, the soil will dry out. If enough trees were to be cut in a certain area, this could change the microclimate. 
a once beautiful, majestic rainforest could become a dry, barren wasteland. I hope this helped you understand the water cycle and the special relationship between trees and the weather. If rainforests are not cared for or preserved, local climate change is a possibility. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like, subscribe button and comment what you enjoyed about this video. Remember this video is a part of a series so check out the next one focusing on solutions to fight deforestation. This series also has a created unit plan attached for teachers to use in the classroom. Link for the unit plan is in the description. Alright that's all for now, I will see you in the next video, catch you soon.